beautiful web. Okay. Weird little guy. Hey Devin, how are you doing? Okay, we have been searching. Hi. Um, sorry I'm running a little bit late, but I've been up in the attic and I've been out in the woods. We have a big blank space up here that we want to create something really pretty, simple but elegant. We also want it to smell really nice. Now sometimes we put candles uh, around the house during the holidays to decorate, uh, but this is a little high for me. It's a little high to reach up and it also creates a little bit of a hazard whenever you go to extinguish the candle. There's the um, possibility that you might spill the hot wax on yourself and we don't want to do that. So I've been in the attic and I've got some silk leaves and I've been in the woods and we found some branches and some twigs and we have a whole pile of those. We also went to the local farmer's market. At the local farmer's market, we found Indian corn and little pumpkins. So, since we want this to smell nice, I think we're going to use a little bit of essential oils mixed in with some acrylic paints. And we're going to go over to Rhonda's right now and she's going to show us just how to do that. And what we're going to create is called a passive diffuser. Okay, let's go. Hey, Miss Rhonda, what you got there? Hey, look at this. Look what I found. Ooh, decorations for fall. Fall treasures. Corn, yay. Harvest treasures. What are you going to do with all those? I want to decorate my mantle. I want to paint them different colors. Your oh, different pretty. colors. And that make an arrangement for my table. Oh, that's going to be pretty. And you're going to paint them? You're going to use the oils in the paints like we did at Christmas last year, right? That's right, and we'll have some beautiful smells the whole season long. Oh, uh, you got a nice selection there, Look too. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> Boy, that smells good while you're working on it, too. That's really pretty. It is. So you're covering it, and it's not covering completely. It's just uh -uh. looking like it's been bronzed. It's like it's been glazed. That's really pretty. And it smells good? And it does. It smells real good. And it's actually got a sheen to it. And if you... Uh, well, I know what I was going to say. You could probably even use fake pumpkins these days, because they do make fake ones pretty nice. And if you wanted to add to them, because sometimes they come out... When too you pretty buy, to throw away. They're so... Yeah, exactly. And then you could use them from year to year if you did uh, and sealed them. But it's just they just make them so nice. Now, I have some fake pumpkins. We might have to try it with the fake ones, but they're big. Okay. I like these little ones. I hadn't bought any little fake ones. but. And these are really nice to um, put on your mantle. Uh, um, you can stack them, so this is going to yeah. be pretty. And then the smell, the Litzia, you, used, you can use any essential oil that you want. We have some that smell seasonal. Uh -huh. uh, and add it to the paint, and then it's going to maintain that fragrance. So it's going to smell really good all the time. See that? That's and it pretty. It's just very little effort. It looks like to get that kind of a, make beautiful centerpieces too for all through the holidays. Like you said, put a make an arrangement on your mantle. That's what I'm going to do. That's gorgeous. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Because I want to decorate too. I was letting it get. October 1st, but actually I needed to have been doing this too. It's going to be more of an elegant look. No. 
Now, what color did you use on this one? More of a bronze? This was the, uh, yeah, this was the bronze. The bronze. They low bronze. Ac acrylic. Yeah, just an acrylic with the oil in it. Used it what you come up with because I don't have to put too much on the bottom. That is looking gorgeous. It, it does, doesn't it? I see. And, and if you want it to be darker, you could even go darker with it. Put it, like a second coat or something. Maybe I'll try some on the stem and see what that does too. Just to make the stem shiny. And kind of zoom into that stem so you can see that. That's really pretty. 